Well, what a lesson today. We did the order form, and the thing that I missed out at Matt Parker Tutorial Services was how to put the relationships in. Um, we did this as a taught session, and it went splendidly badly, okay? And everybody messed it up. So what I'm doing today is I'm gonna quickly show you how to create relationships between a four table system. Now in this system, we have some sort of entity, which is a person. So that could be a customer, an employee, a staff member, obviously uniquely identified by their ID, which is the same name as the table. So t TBL person, TBL person ID. In this table, TBL person, right? Person ID is auto number, because it only appears once. Same thing with this table here, product or service or whatever it is. You've got TBL product and product ID, again set to auto number, okay? If I just show you this in design view very quickly, you can see that in the TBL product, product ID is set to auto number. Same with TBL person, set to auto number. Now. These two middle tables, this structure shows us that you can only have one price for a product, but that you can have multiple products sold in one order. In this table here, you'll notice TBL order, order ID here, if we pop it into design view, is set to auto number. Person ID appears here as a foreign key. This means that it's set to number because it looks up the customer. Same thing, this is for the order line or the order product table, which is, will nest inside the order table. You'll notice you've got a composite key. This is made up of two foreign keys, one to look up the order, one to look up the product. So if you look at that in design view, you'll notice you've got them both set to number. Okay, just thought I'd clarify that before we went on to the next step. Now remember, these two tables here eventually you'll make a query for the order line for the order product and that will appear in the order table this order table will hold everything about the order specifically such as the shipping date collection date etc this table which will remain small will only hold things about the order line or the order product in this system we're dealing with order product we can only sell one product for one price so when i'm setting up the relationships i go from the middle table outwards this will be set to number so from person id to person id so i'm going to go into table design now you will notice that person id here should look up the customer so i'm going to drop down the arrow and i'm going to use the lookup wizard i'm going to look up the values in a table I'm going to select the TBL person and I'm going to have the first three fields and I'm going to order them by surname, that makes sense, and I'm going to unhide the key column. When I finish that, I need to clickly click finish because we should have enabled data integrity along the way. If we go back to our relationships and we show all, you'll notice I didn't enable tech data integrity, but that's not a problem. I can quickly right click the relationship and do that now. That normally does appear in the wizard. Now, that table is finished because this is a primary key in this table. This is the table I need to put relationships into now. So I'm gonna pop that into design view. Both should be set to number. So I'm gonna look up the order table now from the order product table, again, I'm going to follow through the wizard. I'm going to put in just the order ID. That's all I want, really. And obviously, I don't need to order it by anything other than order ID, perhaps. And click Next. And again, it's missed out data integrity, which you'd normally enable here, but that's not a problem because I'm going to save my relationships, close it, show all again by right-clicking, and again, right-click and edit the relationship and enforce data referential integrity. The last thing I need to do is make a lookup from product ID in the order product table to the TBL product. So I'm going to quickly do that now by right clicking and going into table design. I'm going to drop the arrow down. I'm going to use the lookup wizard. Again, this time I'm looking up the products. I'm going to put in everything because I like to have it all appearing on the drop down, but I'm going to order it in in order of product name 
and we're going to unhide the key column. I'm going to, again, when it's finished, I'm going to enable data integrity very quickly here. So I'm going to sh right click, show all, right click the, cl left click the relationship, right click it, edit it, and enforce referential integrity. Now, the only thing I've missed out is how to make that composite key. To do that, what you do is you highlight both fields at the same time and click on primary key. And that's it, okay? I'm gonna safely find somewhere to click X. This is the table structure that you should end up with, with your relationships with the person looking up the person, the product looking up the product, and the order looking up the order. Remember, this is a composite key, so it makes its own primary key. Remember, in this structure, you can only have one price for each product, but you can have multiple products in one transaction. Matt Parker Tutorial Services finishing off. Thank you for listening. Remember, we're there to help students with the coursework, teachers with their admin, and business setup IT systems.